Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to Era Saga Chapter 1. This is the Galactic Saga Admiral Copperbeard. If you complete this, you will also get Copperbeard's Hook. After damaging the skill, if the target's life is below 50%, it deals 30,000 points of metal damage to all enemies. It activates up to three times. That's crazy. After damaging with the skill, if the warrior's life is above 50%, it also applies Drown and Bleed two dots to the enemy. Oh, these annoying dots. All right, as always, I'm going to be using the monster SP provided for me to complete the easy dungeon to go through the saga, and then I will complete it using my very own monster. So, with that being said, there's 28 nodes. Let's play the cutscene. Let's see how this saga began. All right. Captain, glowing island straight ahead, and it looks like there's a mine on it. Is it on the maps? No, Captain. Jolly, approach it at full sail. Are you sure, Captain? Hey, we've been navigating for days. We need something. No pray, no pay. Aye, aye, Captain. I don't understand the double cutscenes back to back. They could just do a long cutscene. Alright, let's see. I've never seen this kind of treasure. Shall I tell the lads to load it onto the ship? Wait. What's going on? Oh, Admiral Copperbeard is born just like that. Blimey! This really is something. I've just had a vision. I saw what this is. This is the ultimate treasure. This is it. Admiral. Admiral. I like how that sounds. Tell the crew to call me Admiral from now on. Aye, Admiral. What else did you see in the vision? Gold? Gems? All of it. Power too. I'm going to need more of your clairvoyance, Lamuna. Take some of this before we load the rest onto the Curse of Cosmos. And so she takes it too. And so that is how she turns into Lamuna Iwa. Fantastic design. Love it. So much detail in the monster. Let's load the ship. Yes, and we'll look for buyers. I trust you, Lamuna. Okay, okay. So, let's fight through this. Oh, we have some strong monsters. This is going to be easy. If Serpent Text is usable, he can OTK everything by himself. As always, don't forget to spin the roulette wheel. It's the most important part of this. You get some amazing, amazing rewards. Um, let's fight. Actually, let me see if the rewards are as amazing. I know SP has been changing some stuff. So, let's see. Also, the easy dungeon should be easy for most players. If you buy the Golden Legends Pass, it should be easy enough for you to beat it. Alright, um... 3 gems, 5 gems, 10 astronaut. Yeah, it's alright. I feel like we're missing chests, like relic chests. Or maybe that's always the medium one that has more. Alright, I got my 5 gems. Let us continue through this. Fight. Auto. Alright, let's see. Boarding hook. What do you guys think so far of the new era? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I think the consensus is it's been a little lackluster, which I think makes sense. SP kind of starts new eras kind of not like crazy OP monsters. That way the old era isn't completely forgotten. So it's a good and a bad thing, right? Um, you would normally expect like the Legends Pass monsters to be really good. In this case, I don't think Admiral Coverbeard is that crazy. Shao Lion is also not anything too crazy, but he's a top monster, so SP is continuing the tradition of releasing top monsters, right? We had Clatch, we had Synthris, um, so SP is going to keep releasing those top $50 monsters. And the cool thing about them is that they are always usable because you combine them with the dodge area team and you're good to go. And there's quite a few powerful, strong dodge area monsters, right? So they will always be usable, but Copperbeard kind of... Kind of a letdown in my opinion. Um, as for some of the newer monsters, uh, Laumuna is probably the better one. She even has an interesting cold blood ability which allows her to bypass taunt and mega taunt. And then she has deny skills. So she can basically, assuming the enemy's not uh, has evasion um, or immune to possession, she can possess whoever she wants, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's see. What happens next? I think we're looking for buyers to buy this powerful resource. Copperbeard, you look different. What's happened? Giving myself a promotion. Hmm, and what brings you here? I have something that might interest you. 
Hmm? Me and the crew have discovered a mine, but it's not a regular one. It produces these stones that give you a power boost. Like nebula? Better. That's why it looked like this. Are you and your crew interested? Now wait a minute. Are you trying to sell this resource to a smuggler style? Well, if you're not interested, that resource is not yours to sell, Copperbeard. It's galactic property. The space defenders should be the ones curating and distributing the resource. Do you think I'm dumb? I'm not just going to hand you something that I found. I need the gold, I have a ship, and a crew to maintain. I, as a representative of the space defenders and galactic justice, demand... Oh, do you see his eyes pop out? Look at that. He went straight for him. All right. Privateer Morgan trying to say, nope, you can't sell me that. But Copperbeard is like, hey, I found it. Finders keepers, it's mine. I'm going to sell it to you. Interesting. I'm curious. I already, oh man, I want to just jump to the next cutscene. I am so curious what's going to happen. All right, Voltar. Let's go boarding hook. Boom. Hybrid. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, then I was going over the monsters. So Lamuna, my favorite, the cold beer, the cold blood mechanic, being able to bypass taunts, megatons, and then possess whoever she wants is pretty useful. Um, I think other than that, it's it hasn't been that great. The PvP monster is not that good. You have time stop and death countdown. Uh, realistically, it doesn't work out. Um, the legend pass monster Holter has the strongest power in the whole entire game. But you look at his skills, and they're like moderate damage at best. No AoE skill to take advantage of his metal weakness at the start of the battle. He could have been like omniscient, but he just doesn't have the power output for it. Uh, what else do we have? PvP. Oh, the maze monster. Another attacker. I actually like the maze monster, but realistically, not going to invest resources into him. But he actually is quite fun. He attacks, gives himself shields. Yeah, but not a meta monster by any means. So Shao Lion is the only one that I think will, could potentially be usable. Like, we might see a few instances of him in the top 100. And Lamuna is also usable, but not, like, a need. Especially because most of PvP is literally like, hey, let me triple damage Serpentex in AoE. Hey, let me, let me triple damage um, Cherub Cupid and do an AoE. If they die, they come back to life anyways. So it's going to be hard for them to get replaced from the meta. All right, let's see what we have going on. It's the famous Captain Coverbeard in flesh. And ye and ye are? Oh, I thought my reputation preceded me. Excuse me, my bad. My name is Malfitor. And again, <laughs> ye are? Ha, huh. you are funny, Captain Admiral. Again, my bad, Admiral. I am a I am a I am a humble business monster. For many years, I've held business relationships with monsters from all over the galaxy. I would have sworn you and I had one or two transactions. Can't recall. Met many posh business monsters. Maybe you were one of them. Ha, <laughs> maybe. Anyway, as a business monster, I have contracts, and some of them tell me, or I have contacts, and some of them tell me you have made an interesting discovery. Aye. And that you wish to sell what you discovered. Aye. So I happen to know a buyer who's interested. Yeah? No, not me. Not for now, at least. So what do you get out of this? That's what I'd like to discuss. You haven't been able to find buyers by yourself, and I happen to have a buyer, but nothing to sell. For a small commission, say 10%, I'd be happy to introduce you to that buyer. Hmm. Admiral, remember we have a broken cannon that's, that can't wait much longer to be fixed. Hmm. All right, Matt. Melfitor. All right, let's talk. And so that is how they go into business. Keep in mind, Malfitor said not yet. Eventually, he will be taking the resource himself, I would imagine. Maybe he'll give it to his son. Oh, man, I think... Ooh, look. Um, Astronite. I think we're going to be getting a clash of the Metro era combined with the Galactic era. So that is going to be interesting. Will we see a Galactic Voltic? Will we see a Galactic Madam Fusion? I doubt it. Maybe it's too soon for that. But I wonder when we're going to start getting mythics in new eras, right? Like, that's going to be interesting stuff. All right, for some reason, I'm taking on a dinosaur. Why am I taking on a dinosaur? All right, AoE. Boom. Boom. Is he an alien? Oh, I guess he's like an alien, huh? Alien dinosaur or galactic dinosaur. All right, let's see. What do we have? Makugan. Makugan coming up. Octex. 
Octes, Hyperion, Holter's Pet, Singularis. All right, let's see what we get. 50k food. We haven't gotten any gems, I think, in the spins. Normally, I always get the three, in, the three a lot, I think. That's interesting. Patient Cyber. Boom, Singularis. I, I can see getting a, getting a new Singularis. I wonder if we're going to see a lot of the Cosmic Mythics. Yeah, ooh, we have Ram, Brainletter and Lake coming up. Laser Beam 2099. Vastas. Kodama. We have Lonrad. That was a popular monster. Alright, let's spin this. 500k. Alright, Ram. Ram recently got released. Octus M2 Wavern. Here's a cool legendary monster, Zinzania, Pierce Monster. Very cool design. Some of these legendary designs hold up till the even till these new eras, even though they were like years ago. Alright. Triple Lethality. Okay, spin. And we're almost there. Oh man, we are quite a while away. General Holter looks like he's gonna be the last opponent we take on. Oh, it makes sense, right? He's the one that is going to buy it. That's why we get Brigadier Holter. And we're going to see a saga in the upcoming in the upcoming week or by Friday, right? That's when the saga is going to be released. So that's going to be cool to see. Also get a chance to get Holter's gun. That'll be interesting as well. All right, Brain, let's take you down. All right, we've got a lot of repeats. Kodama, Holter's bodyguard. Vastas. Holter's bodyguard with his revival. Lindworm! Can you imagine a galactic Lindworm? He's already a cosmic monster, but what if they galactify him? Is that even a real word? What if they galactify him? All right. Ooh, that frame is pretty cool. All right. Ram, Akugan, and Zizania. Ram survived. Nope, not my next attack. Ooh, look at that. That's a monster that looks like Dabanka. Fire, 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 Urion? Fire, fire, Urion? Gosh. I got more astronauts. Okay, let's see how this ends. Alright, let's see. So this who was behind the discovery of the new resource. Captain Copperbeard. Admiral Copperbeard. Ah, it's Admiral now. I can see the change, but is it noticeable in battle? You tell me. And so that is how they do battle. Okay, let's see. Auto through this, boom. The brain survived. Alright, and OTK. Boom. So it looks like any monster that takes this resource immediately transforms. Ooh, finally got three gems. It's not like the chosen one or anything like that. Right, let's discuss business. Melfitor has mentioned that you've been mining this. Astronite. I call it Astronite. Good. Well, I want exclusivity over it. What do you mean by exclusivity? You sell it all to him, only to him, and only through me. Whispers. Admiral, that is too big of an ask. I don't know why I said whispers. Whispers. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Holter. Have it your way. I'll be back with the first load of Astronite tomorrow. Good, we'll meet here tomorrow. Bring golden gems. I know, I know how you pirates do business. Goodbye. Don't worry, Lamuna. Let them believe they have exclusivity over Astronite. Let them pay the price for exclusivity. They don't need to know how much Astronite we have or mine. So we're secretly keeping our options open? Brilliant. And so that is how chapter one of the galactic era saga ends let me know your guys thoughts what do you think is going to happen in the upcoming saga thank you guys very much and remember to subscribe